Hello guys and welcome to the new episode of FJU TV. We're here in the second season, second episode, and you guys can expect a lot of more great surprises. And just a little bit, today's topic is going to be about taking control, right Jocelyn? Yes, exactly, and we're going to be having Ernie segment talking about sports, and he's going to be giving some passion about his sports, and also we're going to have Pam giving her prep talk, and you guys are going to get a little bit more a taste of FJU TV. Alright, so stick around, stay tuned. My name is Jocelyn. And my name is Joseph. And you're watching FJU TV. My name is Simprit Bumber. Before I had um, came into the FJU, I had um, I had a really hard time having to seek attention from other people. I would like attention from other people. I would lie a lot. I had um, I was in a way I was a two face. I was one person with someone, and then I was somebody else, you know, with with my family. And it was something that I wasn't really comfortable with anymore. It had really put me through a hard time because then came these thoughts that, you know, you're you're a dumb person that you don't deserve to be in this world. And a couple times, I've actually had thought about taking away my life because of these bad thoughts that had just came and I remember I would just lie so much I would talk about people behind their back it was just something really not a, a proper girl should should have been acting I was actually invited into the FGU by a good friend of mine and coming into the FGU it really has opened up my eyes a lot because when you're with the FGU you're everybody gets along and when I had first came to an FGU event or um, in the youth group, I would see all these people and I would just be like, okay, hey, these people actually like me. You know, they actually like the fact that I'm Indian. They like the fact that I'm different. They like, you know, that I have awesome food, you know, and so they just, they made you feel more welcome. It's not a place for competition. It's not a place to see, oh, who looks better than another girl or it's not a place for gossip. They really help you into becoming a proper youth, a proper servant of God, a proper, you know, me, since I'm a girl, a proper woman of God. And it's it really has helped me out a lot. And I can say that I am a lot more happier now than I was before. You may have your friends that are that are talking about you behind your back. You may have those people that you think may be smoking, may be drinking, maybe partying is the only way to fit in with different people, but it's not. I didn't do that. I didn't go out and smoke. I didn't go out. I went out to parties. That was before, but no, coming into the FJU, you don't need that because everybody is happy. Everybody is who they are. You get to find yourself. The same way the FJU has changed me, I guarantee you to those out there who are hearing this message, it's going to help you realize the values that you have in your life. Hay muchos jóvenes que dicen, yo todavía tengo toda la vida por delante. Yo no, no necesito entregar mi vida para Dios. No necesito tener un compromiso con Dios. Pero hay muchos jóvenes que, que dicen, voy a ver después. Y después ya no hay más tiempo. Y después ya no tiene más fuerza para volver porque ya le pasó de todo. Y el problema de, del joven es que el joven siempre 
Él quiere probar y descubrir, a ver cómo es, a ver qué se siente. ¿Cuántos no son hoy día? Tal vez usted tiene amigos, amigas, que hoy ella, por ejemplo, es mamá soltera, no sabe más qué hacer de su vida. Amigos suyos que están hoy en la cárcel. Welcome back to Sports Connection here on FJU TV. I'm Ernie, obviously, and well, we're gonna be talking about sports, and we're gonna be talking about soccer. So soccer right now, what's going on is the Champions League. The Champions League final is gonna be played on May 28th, and the people in it, well, the teams in it, are Real Madrid against Atlético de Madrid, and this is gonna be crazy final because they're both from Madrid. You know, it's gonna be like the same city going against each other. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be amazing. Um. Honestly excited for it and I hope I can have the time to watch it and you guys too You know if you guys have free time May 28th, make sure you guys try and tune in. It's gonna be awesome It's gonna be great Cristiano Ronaldo against Atletico de Madrid pretty much because you know Real Madrid is pretty much Cristiano Ronaldo So I hope you guys tune in for that and then basketball We have the playoffs going off the Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals So in the East we have the Raptors against Cleveland and then on the West we have Golden State against the Oklahoma City Thunder so today the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Warriors are going to be playing. And then tomorrow, you guys can catch the Raptors against the Heat. So make sure you guys check that out. I'm sure those series are... Though, well, those series are crazy. It's going to be crazy even more. So make sure you guys check it out this whole week until one of them gets to four games. The magic number is four. Four games, guys. So let's see who gets there first. Let's hope it's the Golden State Warriors. But if not, well, then we're going to see what happens. But I go for the Golden State Warriors. Shout out to Steph Curry. Make sure that you know we're representing God well so that's what's up so yeah guys take control I hope that the Warriors take control of that series and you know hopefully the Warriors take control of the title because I go for that team but if not well may the best one win guys it was an honor it was a pleasure being with you guys here today sort of a cloudy day but don't doesn't matter as long as your life isn't cloudy you know then it doesn't matter your life has to be sunny make sure you guys are always positive you know keep your heads up everything that you do I know that God's going to strengthen you and he's going to help you guys and everything. So God bless you this week. I'll see you guys next week. God bless you. Hello, guys, and welcome back to FJU TV. And this is a part of the segment where we dig in a little deeper to the topic of the day. As you guys know, today's topic is all about taking control of your life. So we're going to give you guys a three-step process on how you guys can, you know, take back control of your life, but also... You guys have to start today, you know, it has, to, it has to be right now, right, Jocelyn? Yeah, and the first tip, um, first step actually is to list the goals that you want. Um, there's many ways you can do it. You can write it on a notebook, you can write it on your journal, you can write it wherever you want. Your diary. If, on if your you diary, diary, if you're into that. Mm -hmm. Also, well, for me personally, what I've done it, that helped a lot is I write it on my phone as a wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So every time I look at my phone, I can already, see the, I can already see the goals that I want to achieve, you know? And it's it helps me a lot because it's something that I see constantly. You and know, it's you're funny because I've actually seen it on your phone too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a witness. It. He is a witness of it. So it, is, it has helped me. So that's the first step. The second step is to list and eliminate um, the things that the barriers for you to accomplish that goal. For example, it could be procrastination. You always leave things one. to the last minute. And you notice that that has been holding you back. So you're going to have to work on that. Be more proactive, you know, be more um, on top of your things that you have to and do. And I think also, uh, you know, for s some youth, you know, if you're watching this, uh, maybe you could say, you know what, I have a problem. Maybe it can be drugs. Yeah. You know, maybe you, there, you see that that's a problem that maybe to this day you haven't been able to get over. Maybe it can be alcohol or partying too much. Maybe you can't get enough of that party. And, you know, you've seen that that's become an obstacle for you to reach those goals. So the important, this is, I think, one of the most important steps, right? Mm -hmm. For you to analyze, analyze everything 
and remove those things. Maybe it doesn't seem like the best thing to do, right? Because some of those things you might consider entertaining. Some of those things you might consider a way to have fun. But if those things are impeding you from reaching your goals, from you to from reaching your dreams, then it can be. It's definitely something you know that that you have to take out because if you really want those dreams bad enough, then you know you got to do whatever it takes, right? And the last thing, which is the hardest thing, I believe, and it's the most that you, the, if you do, you do all of these steps, but you don't do this one, it's kind of like, what's the point yeah. of doing all of them? You get me? So the last one is to actually put into practice in your everyday life and your everyday routine to actually accomplish those goals, you know, and eliminate and start putting that into practice. Because if you don't, then it's just a list of goals there and you're not going to do anything about it. And yeah. there's no point into it. You get me? So um, you have to start this today and start applying that into your life. Definitely, like she said, you know, if you don't, if you you can do all, you can write a, a long list of goals. You can, you know, see everything that you you have to stop doing. But if you don't actually take action, then like Jocelyn said, you're not gonna get anything done. So the most vital step, guys, is for you to for you to really take control of your life. Is like like she said taking control you know so do whatever you got to do stop doing what you have to stop doing but make sure that you start today if you really want to reach those goals if those dreams are something that you want to make come true then these three steps should really help you achieve those goals all right guys so that's it for today in terms of the topic so well, yeah actually we want to invite you for the event that we're going to have may 29th which is um for exactly the topic that we're talking about so yeah. if you're really interested in this topic if you really felt like wow jocelyn and joseph this is a topic that you know got to me mm -hmm. well in this event we're going to be discussing even more even deeper than what this is just a little taste yeah, it's just of it. a little bit guys yeah so you guys are going to be actually encountering you know how to take control of your life you know if any problems or any situations that you guys are going through you guys will be able to take control in that event um, and it's going to be May 29th at 2 p.m. Um, the direction is on the bottom and also, you know, the direction, the phone number, the address, everything is going to be on the bottom. down there. On the link on the description, you guys can look into that. So we want to invite you. We personally want to invite you to come, you know. Um, it's going to be a great event and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic with a whole bunch of youths from different cities in L.A., so it's going to be amazing. So we really encourage you guys to come and join us. Definitely, guys. Take some time. You guys are going to meet a lot of youth that maybe were going through the same problems as you guys. Youth that had their life out of control. They had problems with drugs, alcohol, or maybe other things. And they were able to, to take control of their life. So it's going to be a really good event for everyone. I'm going to be there. Jocelyn's going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. So make sure you guys come and join us. Like she said, all the information is down below. Don't miss out. Guys, it's going to be an awesome event. We'll be right back with some more FJU TV. Stay tuned. Luis Mendez, before the FJU, um, I was the type of person where I was full of anger, resentment towards my father because he would always put me down. Uh, he, would he would call me names, like things that would make me feel like I was worthless. So that took me to be rebellious with both of my parents. It, it, at school, I was always getting in fights, hanging out with the wrong crowd at, in school and in the streets, vandalizing, doing graffiti, uh, doing drugs, marijuana, cigarettes, and, and most, most of the time. And it, it took me to always be this very angry person, this person that was always looking to fight, looking to, to prove that I was somebody. Because at home, I was always being put down by my parents. You know, it was just seeing my mom and my dad fighting, arguing. So that made me be someone very full of anger as well. So a a any little reason, any, any wrong stare someone gave me, I, I, would always, I would always get mad. So basically, I was someone very full of, of rage. I was a person that I couldn't control myself. I was always looking for, I was always looking for a fight, always, you know, it basically my thought was since no one cares about my life, then why should I care about my own life? So I, I was trying to find myself into trouble where, for, for, for example, where I'm from, you know, there was a lot of gang violence and everything. So I would always try to find, put myself in a situation where I can get shot, stabbed, because I wanted to end my life. I never actually thought about suicide, but I would always put myself in dangerous situations. And, you know, and all that t took me to be influenced by bad friends, got expelled from school, arrested. And that's why I basically was when I when I came to the FJU. I was just completely rebellious and out of order. I had I I, don't, I didn't know where my life was going. I had dreams when I was younger, but when my home got destroyed when I came, when my parents separated, then all my dreams, everything just went you know to the trash. I, um, I didn't feel like doing anything with my life. I felt like my life was just drugs and friends and you know getting into trouble. 
Well, after the age of youth, FJU, thank God that now I, I found this group that when I came, you know, I was taught that I shouldn't depend on, not even on my family for my own dreams, but depend only on God, depend on that, how God can actually change my life and God give me the strength and that if I believe in God, but also believe in myself, I can, I can, you know, overcome any problem. I can reach, reach any goal that I want. So after the FJU, I became someone who, you know, God gave me strength. God gave me the will to fight for my own life. And I learned to depend only on him. So today I learned the true happiness, which I found in God, but through the FJU, the FJU taught me how to seek for God, how to seek the help I needed. And today I'm happy. Um, I used to be, like I say, I used to be a person who was full of hatred, full of anger. But now I'm a person that, you know, even someone can yell at me, someone can insult me, I won't get mad. I won't explode in the person. I have peace. I have self-control. And, you know, basically just my life is happy. I'm just, I want to live. I, I want to help other people. And, you know, and, and I recommend the FJU to any youth that you're going through problems. If you feel like you're going, like your family doesn't doesn't accept you, you feel like you're an embarrassment to your family, your, your parents put you down, they're always mistreating you, they're... You should just come because you have a lot of value. Because I used to feel like that as well, that I didn't have any value, that, you know, me dead or alive, it didn't make any difference. But here I found out that I have true value because God showed me that I have a purpose that only I can do. Hey guys, welcome to another segment here of Prep Talk. And as you guys know, today the topic is taking control. So today here, I'm here to let you guys know tips and advice of how someone who's lost control of their life to regain that control back. And honestly, I really like this topic, this this show even more, I believe, than even some other shows because I can definitely relate to this topic. Me, myself, I lost control of my whole life. Honestly, I was drinking. I was addicted to using things to get high. I was influenced a lot by my friends. And I honestly made a really, really bad choices. And it was until I came here to the FJU that I was able to learn how to take control back of my life. And here I am today, fully in control of my life and looking forward towards my future. And here are some tips for those of you that are struggling like I was before too. So definitely the first thing that I can tell you guys, your thoughts are the first thing that need to change. Because I definitely know how it is when you're lost control of your whole life, you feel hopeless, you can't even imagine yourself changing, you're just down there. But once you start fighting against those thoughts and you start changing them and realizing, hey, there is a way out there really is that's when you start moving forward and you're able to break through whatever is in your way and second definitely see around the people that you're hanging out with believe it or not those people can definitely influence you a lot and if you let yourself be influenced too much honestly like I was at times you end up living someone else's life you end up doing what they want and you lose control of that life but here we're here to tell you guys today I'm here to tell you guys that you guys can get that control back in your life and I'm here to invite you this May, on May 29th, we're going to be having an event in LA. That address is going to be here throughout the show, and I want to invite you guys, come and check it out. You have nothing to lose. It's going to be amazing, and we're going to teach you how to get that control back in your life. So guys, get ready, and I really hope to see you guys there on that day. Thank you for joining me in another segment of Prep Talk. Ese 29 de mayo a las 2 de la tarde. May 29 at 2 p.m. Take control! Well, guys, that about wraps it up for today's show. Jocelyn, can you remind them what our social links are? Our national pages is on Facebook. You guys can find us at facebook.com slash FJU Estados Unidos. Also on our Instagram, it's FJU underscore USA. 
And our Snapchat is FJUSA. If you guys want to follow us on our California main pages, you guys can follow us at Facebook.com slash FJU Cali. Also on Instagram, FJU underscore Cali. And also our Snapchat. Guys, send us nice. your snaps Snap, at FJUCA. All right. It was a pleasure being with you guys. Another episode more. And it's going to be great. We're going to be continuing exploring LA and going in the big cities. <laughs> yes, sir. So make sure you guys continue to watch and stick along with FJU TV. That's about all for today. My name's Joseph. My name is Joseph. And you guys were watching FJU TV. FJU TV.